Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun the past 48 hours. I did release some images yet uh, earlier today on what our sun has been up to. We've got those multiple sunspot regions facing our planet right now. Lots of activity from the sunspot groupings. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Plasma filament slaps into the sun for a tsunami. And then big eruption from the backside there. And all those filaments interacting with the sunspot regions. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Looks pretty boring compared to what is incoming. And now Earth facing. Not too much to talk about in the outgoing events. But closer look here at those sunspot groupings. And as well the last 48 hours of events. Just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Wow. Immense power and magnetism. Having a look at multi-spectrum. The last 48 hours of events pointing them out. And as well the notable deepened coronal hole that is now earth facing. Hundred and seventy one angstroms here. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action. And there is a lot of disruptions along the the equator and uh, northern as there's a plasma filament spinning around right at the North Pole. Visible here, 171 angstroms of 11 sunspot regions. That's right, we have 11 sunspot regions and that top left-hand side has got four of them, big ones, wrapped up inside of that. Having another look here at those regions Incoming and now Earth facing. Current space weather conditions we are still under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected as we've seen the sun fire off an M class and two C class solar flares. Strong C class solar flares. Solar winds are coming in at 438 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux hopping down a little bit after firing off two strong C-class solar flares this afternoon and this morning. Proton flux slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP1. And then looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off towards Mercury yet again. Pretty fast moving CME there. And it helps enhance the solar stream that it crashed into there around the Parker Solar Probe. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of events. Amazing images as we have had five CMEs take off from our sun. A couple of them in an Earth facing direction, but southward. Right there, and as well right there. And then the most recent one taking off, outgoing, as noted towards Mercury. Amazing images, though. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting in low 180 earthquakes right now, according to USGS. But increasing activity here. Notable earthquake 5.3 in Sikik, Turkey. And as well a 5.2 earthquake here, Tajikistan, and there's been quite a bit of activity all across the Tibetan Plateau, even northward here, Russia. 4.4, pretty rare place for earthquakes to be reported. 4.5 there reported Japan yesterday, deep, and as well minor activity through the Philippines, Mindano, 4.5. A little too quiet for that region right now. And then we did see some deep earthquakes today in the Tonga region, largest being the 5.0, deepest being 575 kilometer depth. And that was a 4.3. But few deep earthquakes, Fiji region, 
quieting down in Hawaii and as well across the North American plate. There was notable activity across the San Francisco Bay Area, but not too much to talk about now. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, activity coming back, and as well Costa Rica reporting a 4.7. And then 5.3 here, the, the other largest earthquake to report today in Calima, Chile. So two strongest earthquakes to report today were Calama, Chile, and Turkey. Not much to talk about through Iceland. Let's have a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And you hear that little boom, boom. Those are those deep earthquakes, and we've only seen a couple of them this past week. And deep earthquakes are now coming back, so heads up. Larger shallow earthquakes to follow. Quick glance here around the world. Notable activity northeast of Puerto Rico as well. Wanted to share here with you another source that I use for earthquakes, Volcano Discovery. Look at all this notable activity up into Tajikistan and across the Tibetan Plateau and northward. Notable seismicity across Turkey still, and as well Greece. And increasing seismicity up, yeah, look at this, through Greece, up into the guts of Turkey. All around two pretty active volcanoes here, Mount Etna and Stromboli. And as well, notable minor seismicity across Northern Europe, Central, even parts of Germany. And as well, Spain, France. So anytime that there's notable activity or even earthquakes that aren't being reported by USGS, I like to show them here. For instance, this 5.4 magnitude earthquake that struck an hour ago is not being reported by USGS. That is northeast of Puerto Rico, north of the subduction zone through the Caribbean. So heads up, my friends and family. This is a look at our world today for earthquakes. Brought to you by USGS and as well Volcano Discovery. Now let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated and most recent satellite imagery, looking at the Mayan in the Philippines. And as well, Fuego, Guatemala. Lots of flood alerts popping off here. Pacific Disaster Center, this is an app you can get. You can stay up to date as well. Semeru in Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevada's Daru is in Colombia, Sangay in Ecuador, Dekono in Indonesia, and as well Popo in Mexico. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. Amongst the 43 that are active and erupting, I did a little count yesterday. So stay tuned as we will be giving you an update this weekend on active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Big low pressure systems and cold air funneling across North America right now and as well across the North Atlantic. Big systems still winding up and smashing into Alaska, northern BC, and as well a notable low pressure system heading through Oregon right now and California. No major cyclones or typhoons to talk about, or hurricanes. Notable activity there off the coast of Africa. And as well as some big lows there, cutting across Eastern Europe and into Russia. And then watch for multiple lows here in the forecast models to continue to hammer parts of Northern Europe and the West Coast. Ireland, Great Britain, United Kingdom, 
You've all got some intense weather coming. Let's have a quick forecast, uh, SO2 forecast look here, as we still have that big cloud of SO2 and particulates coming from Uluwan Volcano. And it looks like it's still going. Lots of puff puffs from Kamchatka and Japan. And a look around the rest of the world. No other notable regions here for volcanic eruptions. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. We're almost at 70,000 followers. And thank you so much for subscribing, following along, following Daily Events Worldwide. Weather, earthquakes, volcanoes. Now let's get to world weather here. Low pressure system affecting the Atlantic provinces over the next couple days. And then extreme weather ripping across central and eastern United States. And then bashing into a cold front for the Atlantic provinces. That will be our first snowstorm. And then long range forecast here for December. Pretty tightly whipped system and, and coupled with a lot of extreme weather and snow so heads up towards the end of the month we've got a pretty big system affecting canada and the united states overlooking south america and africa daily evaporation rains but interesting low pressure system stagnant trapped over parts of northern argentina and then overlooking europe africa southeast asia high pressure ridge Hangs around for the next few days for Europe, but then you've got one, two, three, four, five low pressure systems all merging, joining forces for an ultimate low in the long range forecast. Strong winds and a lot of moisture associated. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand. Still got a low pressure system affecting southeastern parts of Australia and as well extreme weather across the Northern Territory and eastward through New South Wales. Big low pressure system there, Southern Indian Ocean. And then overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Forecast models showing some pretty strong and large low pressure systems coming out of eastern Russia this week. That's set to really cool things down. Polar vortex set up for winter 2023, in which we are pretty much just a month away from the first day of winter. Now I wanted to share here with you our polar vortex. The way it looks today, these are upper level winds. Strong winds over China and Russia cold temperatures associated and it's starting to broaden its wind stream quick glance around the rest of the world southern hemisphere northern hemisphere equatorial winds I'd like to share with you these changes as much as i can so thank you all for watching today i hope you enjoyed the show if you did please Consider giving a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you liked about it. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.